Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some Genome Guardian. Uh, last time we played was really fun, right? We, uh, we, you know, combined the DNA to make like an explosive, um, uh, minigun. It was really, really fun. Uh, and, uh, we're back! We're back, we're back, we're back. It's gotten some updated, uh, updates. They've been working a lot, um, uh, before. Um, last couple things that happened, obviously, we're on this new research, uh, tree here. Uh, with cosmetics or miscellaneous or something. I'm sure there's going to be, um, you know, some things. Uh, it's not all cosmetics, you know, there's things like, uh, perks and spy glasses and stuff. There was also some weird kind of lore that was going on. Uh, and we also unlocked a brand new game mode, right? So in the past, we've done the extract mode, which is what we done, uh, last time. Uh, we did the, uh, shmup mode. Uh, but now there's a new classic mode we unlocked, uh, where it says there's no biomass, there's no heal button, and slots come pre-purchased, but you must pick one shop item after each wave. So, uh, we're gonna try it out. Um, strong defense at a price here. Um, let's see, focus, a single highly upgradable weapon. Oh, quad weapon. Refuel between waves, turret scale, that's interesting. Uh, dice, more reroll. Oh, we already won with dice, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do something that we haven't, um, done before. You know what, we'll just do strong defense at a price. I don't know, we'll try that out. Cause I still want multiple things here. Uh, and we have a couple different perks here. Resurrect, heal, shield max. It doesn't look like there's anything I specifically really, yeah, there's nothing else I really want to use. Uh, this time we'll go ahead and start with a shotgun and, uh, we'll, we'll try out classic mode here. Ooh, Ooh. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and turn down the volume just a little bit. But I'm very interested to see uh, how this works. Also, in our arsenal, right, of the things that we've done, we've never gotten GGGG. So I definitely think we're going to try to get, like, all the shotguns. I think shotguns are going to be a big focus for us this episode. I don't know what we're going to get with them. But yeah, I de Mega Shotgun, yeah, I definitely want to try to get some sort of something like that. Uh, seems like it could be pretty cool. I'm also very interested in this classic mode. We're, we're probably not going to get to be as picky and get exactly the things that we want because we are on classic mode. Hey, but there it is, shotgun. We've made GG for the first time. Sh uh, spread shot. A shotgun with widespread and higher pellet count for more damage. Uh, still inconsistent without upgrades, but continues uh, to have the highest damage among weapons of equal tier. Oh, you only get one. Oh, there's no money. Duh, there's no money, but we only get one thing. Okay. GG, good start. <laughs> I like this. I like this so far here. It's going to be interesting to see if we can make um, as cool weapons even when we don't technically normally get a big shop phase, you know? Another shotgun. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Here, I'm going to lock one shotgun. We're going to take the other shotgun. So now we have GGG, wave spread, a heavy wave shotgun that fires many big waves with a wide half circle spread. Upgrades can focus on honing its accuracy or leaning into its already wide spread. Okay. Ooh. It already looks really pretty. That's for sure. Th this game is just a very pretty game. Uh, also, we're listening to the Dome Keeper soundtrack again. Um, obviously, you know, don't want copyright stuff. Uh, but speaking of which, uh, Dome Keeper is getting the biggest update it's ever gotten. Um, I believe on the 25th. So if you're watching this video, depending on when it came out, we, uh, we might already have a, uh, a new, um, a new Dome Keeper video. So definitely check that out. Okay. Yo, let's, I guess we're already going to get GGGG. Wave Quake, a 360 degree spread of gigantic waves firing green in all directions, destined to be part of most setups focused on full circle coverage. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, we definitely want some other shotgun things, you know, start making some other um, shenanigans here. But uh, so far liking this a lot. Okay, let's not, uh, let's not overheat. Let's not overheat. But yeah, once we get some more targeted shotguns as well, that's gonna help a lot. 
It is nice just guaranteed getting something once per. Oh, okay, locks don't do anything. Um, burn. Okay, we're gonna re-roll. Um, we haven't done GGG with a lot of stuff. We haven't done it with an A, have we? Three G's and an A? Three G's, where's three G's? And an A. Yeah, we have it. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Because that this is like my number one priority is trying to get all of these at some point in time, trying out to get uh, every single weapon. I see GGGC. I see... Where am I missing it? GG... Unless we already got it. 1A and 3Gs. For some reason, I can't find. But you know what? Oh, 1A, 3Gs. Never mind. We already got it there. We did already get that. So then maybe we do C, G, G, G? I don't know. Uh, cooling rate. I could just get a cooling rate. Yeah, we'll just get a... No, no. I'm gonna reroll. Bomb. We haven't done one bomb and three Gs, have we? One bomb. Because I want to focus on getting things that are entirely new. So, bomb. Do we have... Okay, we do. We already have three Gs and a T. So we need three Gs and a C is what I want. Three Gs and a C. But, or I could do two Gs, two Gs and like an A and a, two Gs and a C and a T. Okay, we'll do that. We'll start this on the bomb, bomb one here. So we just have a normal bomb. Because we could do two Gs and then like one and one of something else here for this bottom one. But having a single target bomb definitely helps. We're in a lot better position than we were. Because yeah, that out of all of the things, I know there's like its own progression and stuff like that. But getting all of the weapons, that's, that's the fun for me right now. So now I have to pick something that makes the game harder here. I'll also be a professional streamer here and uh, raise myself up. This is a little less annoying. Uh, microbes are completely insane. Microbes with G and I are extinct. Sure. Okay. Um, we could give it more damage but less speed. I'm going to re-roll. More projectiles but less fire rate. Or more damage and more range for the wave quake. Okay, I'll get that. I'll get something there. Some sort of upgrade would help a lot. Have you done all T? We have not. We have not. But I think we're gonna focus on the uh, the bombs here. Or sorry, sorry. That that would be focusing on the bombs. Focusing on the shotguns. But so far, this build's doing pretty good here. I'm also just still very curious what this like out of game progression story type thing is going to look like because it looks like it's like a whole thing that we haven't even scratched the surface on. So very interesting to see how that is going to work. Um, okay, we'll do a, a reroll here. Man, I'm not liking these. Bounce and more range on the bomb. Okay, I'll just take that because we only have one more reroll. So. We, uh, we need to be a little bit careful. Little bit careful. But I love this wave quake already. If we can get some perks on that or something, that's gonna, that's gonna go pretty dang hard. Pretty dang hard. It's also really good at just stopping all these projectiles from getting to us. Okay, C, okay, CTGG, I think is something I was fine with. CTGG, yeah, CT. So we're gonna add a pistol to the bomb here to make a dumb fire rocket for at least now. When are you gonna play Spiritfall? Um, well, I'm assuming you mean more Spiritfall. Um, I don't have any moment um, intentions right now uh, to to do any more, but I know there's a lot of people that are trying to get me to to add it if they win the community game wheel. So I'll never say never because it definitely might land get landed on the community game wheel. Um, 
but the videos just haven't been doing that great for me to warrant it. You know, there's so many games I'm trying to juggle, so I can only do so many that aren't super popular, you know? Um, okay, and I want three Gs in the middle one. The question is, I could have a C. We could do a C here. So we'll put the C and then three Gs just to get something here. So right now we have a Wavequake, Pistol, Dumbfire Rocket. That's pretty sick. Yeah, Spiritfall's a really fun game. Really, really fun. For those of you guys that haven't seen it, it's like a platform fighter roguelike. It's almost like Smash or Brawlhalla or something. So it's really fun. You got a whole series for it. Have you done a full scream? All A's. Hey, f oh, never mind. These are just the bombs. I don't want those. Okay, Max Heat. Max Heat. I could take Max Heat. I could take Max Heat. Spiritfall is how I found out about you. Hey! Yeah, we always jump around so many different roguelikes and indie games and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, Spiritfall is really cool. Dude, yeah, the wave croak is so good at just like generally keeping people away. I'm glad we increased the range of it. I think we definitely want to keep increasing that range because it's, it's still not even reaching the max. Um, area here. So now we have to make something else. Microbes are smaller. Microbes are insane. They weigh less, but they're faster. You know, I'm actually fine with that. Normally I wouldn't want that, but I'm fine with that. Uh, more damage, less range. Submachine gun. Man. I'm gonna do my final reroll here. Okay, we got a shotgun. There we go. So we're gonna discover what this is. Split Zooka, a loaded slug that splits into a spray of explosive pellets. The splitting behavior allows for accurately positioning your cluster bombs. Okay. Okay. So we need to throw one more G in that. And then we need three Gs for that pistol for uh, the, uh, the, the kind of weapons that we're looking for right now. I like this classic mode though. Honestly, I've liked every single mode so far. And it's nice that they all have their own ascension levels, right? So we can kind of just, um, as we keep on playing more and more in the future, you know, we can just keep bouncing between the different game modes and stuff like that. Um, okay, what kind of sucks here is I'm not seeing a G, so I might have to skip sometimes. It looks like eventually it might force me to skip. Uh, eventually it might force me to take things that I don't want. So we're gonna have to really hope to get more Gs. Obviously this game mode isn't necessarily for exactly what we're wanting. So far, haven't struggled yet. We are technically just on the difficulty zero or whatever, you know, uh, since there is the ascension levels now. But yeah, we've been seeing this game get updated more and more and more with like quality of life changes or stuff. So it's really cool. Hey, there we go, got a shotgun. So here we go, here's our bottom one. A splitter spitter. A strange living projectile that splits into three offspring and each of those split into three offspring. This weapon can cover the battlefield with lime colored uh, critters. Yo. Yo. Yo, these are cool. These are cool. So now all we need is in a perfect world, uh, three G's for the middle one uh, to see what that's like. We haven't really taken any damage yet. That's really nice. It's nice having more uh, max heat as always. Oh, oh, we did overheat. Hey, there we go. Shotgun. Let's go. Let's go. Never gotten this. A hunting shotgun. A shotgun with Titan spread for firing pellets more accurately with higher velocity. Consistently hits targets within its medium range. Okay. Okay. I gotta say, all this is working real well together. We have the wave quake just giving a general, like, kind of 360, right? We've got very good targeted stuff. Then the splitter spitter is still kind of acting all crazy as well. This is a really cool build. This is a really cool build. Okay. Shotgun again. We're getting lucky. 
Now it's the sonic wave, a supersized single wave that pushes microbes back with increased knockback power, uh, pierces and pierce and size upgrades unlock its true potential. Okay. It's cool. We just need one more G. Uh, after this, we're going to do some more Cobalt Core. And that'll be our final game of the stream. I'm super excited for Cobalt Core too. It's a very different type of roguelike than this, right? Like a roguelike deck builder. Um, for those of you guys that like those. But uh, we've been playing it for over like a year. And we finally, last time we played, we uh, we got the, the true ending. So it's real cool to... Now, now we're gonna get to try out the new secret character. So there's just a 200% chance things are oversized, whatever. And hey, we already got it! So we're already gonna have all our weapons here. Sonic Wave Spreader. A shotgun blast of supersized waves with unparalleled knockback power. Uh, this spread firing weapon combines crazy damage with the highest base knockback among all weapons. Let's go. It's got a ton of knockback, okay. Definitely, I think we could use more fire rate on the Sonic Wave Spreader and the Splitter Spitter. Man, dude, Sonic Wave Spreader, Splitter Spitter, Wave Quake. I'm trying to think how to, how, I'm trying to think, because I always in the thumbnails, like, combine the title as if it's one weapon. So it'd probably be like the Sonic Wave Spreader, Wave Quake, the, or the Wave Quake, Sonic Wave Spread, Splitter Spitter, something like that. Okay, oh, Pierce, didn't it say Pierce was good on the Splitter Spitter? Or was that the sonic wave spread? Uh, because I could also get some of this. No, we're just gonna get Pierce on the splitter spitter. That just sounds pretty cool. Oh, I just realized the whole point of this weapon, I think, is that I think all of, well, no, I was gonna say they were all free, all the weapon slots, but I think weapon slots inherently are just free, maybe. Um in this game mode, but this turret is only allowed to have two perks on each weapon, I just realized. So, it's something interesting. Normally you're allowed to have, I think, three or four. Uh, we could get more range on this thing. More size and range. Go do range and speed. Might as well take something, because we should be able to replace them here if we want. It depends on the turret. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we do still need to fight the shopkeeper and beat the shop. I think killing the shopkeeper in Cobalt Core is the final achievement um, that we need to get. I don't know if I'm going to focus on that today. Because um, I just want to focus on the new character. But if we get an opportunity, definitely, maybe. We're, okay, so let's see. Okay, uh, I could get burn on the sonic wave spread. Sure, because we have the pistol. So now that has burn. I don't know how good that is, to be honest, though. But we should be able to replace perks, I imagine. So it's more like we might as well take something rather than nothing. Triple fire rate. Oh, this looks sick. And then we overheated, but just ignore that. Just ignore that. Ignore that. Okay. Um, so we only have... I'm so interested about the skips here. What happens when we run out of skips? Do you have to pick something? How does that even work? Um, like always, I think we just got to get to wave 30 uh, to win. Just gotta get to wave 30. Oh, we actually took, we took, I think our first damage. There was a projectile that hit us, but we have a shield. We have, we have a lot of shields, so that's, uh, that's nice. Okay, we could get range and speed. Okay, I'll take that for now. Cause we did say we wanted range on that. I think the speed might actually not be the best. Also, we took some damage from projectiles. Speed might not be, might not be the best because before it was kind of cool at creating like a force field. And now that force field kind of goes away pretty fast. But the range was really good. That's for sure. Range was, was very good. Oh, oh. See when there's a lot of stuff coming at us. 
Uh, wave quakes, nice. Okay, uh, more shield max, more cooling delay, chance to heal. I guess we'll just say cooling delay if we overheat. The main reason my brain went to the hypothetical that it did for Cobalt Core was because it's a trend with those types of games. Wait, what's a trend? What did I mean? What? What about Cobalt Core? What trend in it? Cobalt Core is a very fun game. Okay, they're starting to go really fast. Um. Oh, which is more max heat. Or 40% range and 40% accuracy to weapons with CDNA. I'm just going to get more heat max. I'm never going to have to worry about this. Oh, the final character. Yeah, I'm so excited. Have I heard of Window Kill? I have. I made a video on it. Very cool game. Very cool game. You think wave quake sonic wave spreader splitter spitter yeah splitter spitter definitely needs to be the final part the sonic wave spreader wave quake splitter spitter oh so now okay so now we have nothing to get here actually so now it's just gonna put us in i don't think it's even gonna put us in the uh, the shop phase here hey i see a uh, baltazar yeah window kill was a very fun fun game so we're on wave 24 I think it's just gonna keep on auto doing the waves, question mark. So we don't have the best, yeah, it's just gonna automatically put us in the next wave. So wave 30 is considered winning. Um, is considered winning here. Obviously we'll take it endless. See as long as, see as long as we can last all of the, uh, the science or whatever that we can get. Um, because yeah, the, the, the out of game progression seems seems super important. Super important. We're getting research rate times six. Oh geez, show the arsenal real quick. Yeah, we've uh, we're making progress here. Forty out of sixty nine. This time we're focusing on the uh, the shotgun stuff here. Though we're not really able to get shot phases anymore. Uh, at least in this mode. And letting myself overheat. Probably still shouldn't, because yeah, now we're actually starting to take some damage that I don't really want to. I don't really want to take damage. You've been grinding this game so much. Yeah, it seems like it's got a lot of replayability. A lot of replayability. All the weapons are bal- oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. All the waves, all the weapons are very balanced, I really love it. Some are better for some modes, but generally all weapons are dope. Yeah, I love the different modes. I love that they all have like their own then like ascension levels as well. It's, uh, it's very nice. This weapon is also very, very nice. So I'm curious, cause endless mode in the other modes, like you would still have access to that shop. So I'm, I'm curious if there even is an endless mode for this. Yeah, the shmup mode is one of my favorites just cause I love Galaga. Love, love Galaga. Hey, Alfirior got the dev of this game in, uh, in, in chat as well. How you doing? We're having fun in the, uh, in the classic mode. Think about to go to endless mode. See how long we'll be able to survive, how much we'll be able to grind. Okay, last wave. Uh, until we, you know, obviously beat the game or whatever. I haven't so had so much fun like this since Nova Drift. Yeah, we always get attached to uh, to, to games kind of like this, right? Uh, we've we've had in the past. I mean, we've had we've made like what fifty Nova Drift episodes in the past. We've made. I'm trying to. Neon Sundown was another game. Um, Neon Sundown was um, something kind of similar to this. Okay, so we uh, classic depth. We unlocked a new heat style here. 
uh, onward here. You can now replace mods once all slots are full and endless. Pick up, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we still have a chance to replace things. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the range and damage on that wave crake. Because as much as I want the range, it going so fast was pre preventing it from being the, the shield that it needed to be. So now we might actually be able to optimize the crap out of this. Classic mode feels faster. Yeah, it might just be because you're cutting down the shop phase and stuff like that, you know? I feel like it could be something like that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's fine, we still got plenty of health. I think we're gonna be able to grind out endless mode a decent bit here with this. Okay, Pierce, the sonic wave spread. I think we want Pierce on this. I think I think Burnout is not doing like anything for us here. I think, though I don't know. It said it has a bunch of knockback, so I don't know if Pierce is even good for that. Have you played Dungeon Clawler? I haven't, I haven't. Mainly because I'm just, I'm so exhausted from demo games, and I know that's a demo game, but I know people have been telling me it's super polished, and I know some YouTubers are blowing up right now playing it, so I might need to check it out at some point, even though it's the demo. I actually messaged the devs because they had reached out to me a while ago. Um, and I, I emailed them back asking if they had any insider information on... Um... Ooh, burn on the wave quake, maybe. But I don't... No, I can't. Um... Yeah, because I would... I would really, really... Uh, I really want to play that game. It seems... It seems like it's... It's... Um... It seems like it's an early access game. I just don't know why it's still a demo. I, I don't understand... But I'm not a game dev. I just don't understand when games are in demos for 7,000 years. It's still in demo, yeah. Yeah, and I think they said it's not gonna launch in 1.0, it's gonna launch in early access. So I don't know, I'm hoping it's close by because I definitely plan to check it out when it actually officially comes out, you know? Um, yeah, Pierce isn't doing shit for me here. More damage, less fire rate. Um. Okay, actually I have rerolls again. Homing, fire rate, knockback, reroll. Reroll. Okay, I'll just ready up here. Some games get a full release and should have an early access tag. Cough, cough for the king too. Yeah, I remember people talking about the first game. I've never tried either of those. Also, we're starting to take damage little by little here. Really need to try to prevent this. <laughs> really need to try to prevent this here. The wave wave uh, quake is helping a lot. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay, we're invulnerable for a little bit here. Oh man. Um Okay, homing on the sonic wave spreader. That's probably better than Pierce to be honest. Let's see. Let's see if that's actually any better. It does just have a lot of speed, so I don't actually know how much that homing's really helping. But we must we must persevere. We must persevere. We need the out of game progression. Because it seems like, e I don't, it's either that, that's progressing, whatever this weird story is, uh, or um, maybe achievements or how, how far we go. Oh, dude, we're start. we might die here very, very soon. Sticky. Okay, let's do sticky on the wave quake. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I think we're gonna lose right here. I think we're gonna lose. Oh no. Oh, dude, look at that. Okay, the sticky's actually creating a force field. That's what I was hoping for. I was hoping for it to do something like that. The problem is I just don't have the damage here. I just don't have the damage. I think also the enemies coming faster to us is finally starting to uh, screw us up. Come on, let me survive one more wave. One more, one more wave. One more wave. One more wave. One more wave. Oh my God, I got four HP. I think it's about to, I think, I think, I think our time is about to end here. Um, Seeing if there's anything quirky. 
Okay, sticky on the splitter? Yeah, instead of the piercing on the splitter spitter. Maybe that way we just need stick. No, dude, thing, things are so fast. We're about to die, like, immediately, actually. We're about to die immediately. Get away. Get away. Please. 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 I have three HP. Oh, I forgot I have the res. I have the res. Okay, we had the res perk. We had the res perk. Okay, okay. Okay. We have the res perk. We might actually get to wave 40 because of it now. I don't know. Um, okay, we're just putting sticky on everything. Okay, sticky on the sonic wave spread. If we just get sticky on everything, that's, that's what we need. We're creating the world's weirdest shotgun known to man. We just that that's 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 gonna how we're gonna how we're gonna save the day totally 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 it's just creating a sticky shield around ourselves it doesn't seem to be working but I'm trying I'm trying we're already back down to 38 HP um more projectiles but less range Okay, okay. Oh, I can't put that on that one. Oh wait, we're in the Hollow Knight soundtrack. No, we gotta stay in the Dome Keeper soundtrack. Um, I, I think more projectiles of the Splitter Spitter would be good. I don't know, taking range off of it might be a mistake, but I think more projectiles are what we want for this type of build. It's a big shooty boy. Oh no. They're also starting to do so much damage here. They are starting to do so much damage. I think we are gonna get to make it to 20, uh, 40 at least though. Hey, we, unlo uh, we unlocked Nitro. Um, fire rate up on the, okay yeah, we'll do fire rate up but less damage on the sonic wave spreader. Just trying to keep things extra sticky here. Extra sticky. When's the next Peg Idol video? I think we're gonna try to record another one uh, next week. Peg Idol's a fun game. We're just, we're, we always, we always uh, juggle between so many dope games at once, which I love. I love variety ever since I was a kid. Um, I have loved jumping between roguelikes and all this stuff, indie games. Um, we are about to die. Um, future endless mutations are chosen automatically. Health and shield are hidden. Yeah! Well, we'll just do this for fun so we don't actually know where we are. Um, extra damage while above 50% heat. I'll do that instead of the cooling delay. But, uh, yeah, so for those of you guys that might have uh, discovered the channel, uh, via Genome Guardian. I know these videos have been popping off recently. Um, definitely check out some of our other series because we, we, ah, we died. <laughs> we tend to juggle between a lot, you know, but we did die, but that's okay because now we get to, let's see, research. Um, also someone said that all the cursor stuff was in settings and I just missed it. Where is it though? Everybody told me that you could see it in settings. Water, music, screen shake. What is this? The appearance, oh, of the heat. Oh, that's heat. Turret cursor. So if we unlock more, I guess it's there. Got different lights. Okay, but okay, so let's progression here. I don't care about the light. I don't care about heat style. I'm gonna get the things, I guess that actually do things first of all. So what is funnel here? What is funnel? 
Um, and now obviously classic mode, just like in the future, if we play classic mode again, we'll have depth too. Um, okay, weapon, not weapon, uh, perks. Um, so there was funnel. Fire rate plus 35%, but heat max minus 75%. That's interesting. I just think the heat stuff is... I personally want the most heat uh, ever. Did you click on the credits? Wait, in settings? There's something if I click on the credits? Wait, what? I don't even see where the credits are. A question mark? Oh, you press that? Oh, you get an achievement for viewing the credits. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So that did give us a little bit more uh, currency, but nothing in particular here. Um, and then we also unlocked, I think, a couple new turrets, didn't we? We got... I love that once you get a W on something, it shows you. Because I always want to try to get the things that uh, we have. Tons of little secrets, won't spoil it though. Yeah, yeah, obviously it seems like there's like a whole bunch of other stuff, um, uh, for sure. Uh, that is, uh, that's, you know, in this game and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, let me go ahead... Because I think this is probably a good stopping point. Um, oh, what? Oh, I think it was something that said low FPS or something. You could you could change it in here. Um, checklist. So I'm just seeing if I unlocked. Where is it? Because yeah, we had unlocked funnel. I thought there was one more thermometer cooling rate plus 100 percent cooling delay plus 100 percent. That's interesting. So if you, I think that means it's if you don't overheat. I think. It, it refills faster, but if you do overheat, that's probably worse. We have Vice, Rhyme, Cooling Delay minus 50% while overheated. Though it says specifically Cooling Delay and then this thing. Make sure you click that Discord button on the main menu too. You'll get something much better than 500 research points. Oh, yeah, we're already in the, uh, in the Discord. But clicking on the button did in fact give us something. We got a new perk, Balloon. Okay, okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? Um, balloon plus 200% fire rate for one second when hit. That is interesting. That is interesting. So we got a lot of fun shenanigans, a lot of fun shenanigans, uh, to, uh, to try back out, uh, when we, uh, when we revisit this game and stuff like that. I think we'll just keep on, you know, changing between whether we play shmup mode, extract mode or classic mode. So next time we play, uh, we'll be on a shmup mode, trying to make more and more progress in the, in the research, uh, tab, uh, and, uh, just, you know, unlocking all the things. And the biggest thing for me, like I said, is trying to eventually, uh, get every single one of, uh, the weapons, uh, discovered in the arsenal. That's that's one of the most fun things uh, for me for sure. So, um, you know, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like what the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, when more Genome Guardian videos come out. I know this was a more short and sweet episode, but, um, you know, don't want to drag it on if we don't have to uh, and, uh, you know, want to save some stuff for next episode. So, uh, check out the whole playlist um, on the screen. If there's a new episode, like I said, it'll be on the screen as well uh and if you're gonna be grinding out uh some genome guardian on your own then i wish you guys luck and i'll see you all next time